So if you're like most people growing up, you know, with cheap ping pong stuff, you know, like, uh, you know, this Franklin brand little, you know, hard bat. It's just a simple, like, you know, Walmart cheap paddle or, or maybe a sport craft. That's uh, what you had, especially if you bought it from Walmart. You know that they're kind of cheap paddles and they don't last very long, you know, particularly the rubber. Uh, as you can see here on this uh, sport craft paddle, rubber's all the way off on that side. And then this side, it's just like flaking off. Uh, so it got me thinking, I, I do, you know, like this kind of paddle and I, my brother likes to play with this kind of paddle and it's good to have around, but it's kind of annoying when you have this decent blade, you know, it's already shaped, you don't have to worry about the handle and it starts flaking off. So it'd, it'd be nice if you could just replace the rubber part, uh, which I've done various types of rubber, like uh, recycled rubber or, or gasket rubber, but I wanted to find something that was closer to this and actually had some texture to it, like the, uh, the pips on this, the pips out, but you know, if you search online, you can't really find anything that's cheap. You can find, you know, professional level or, you know, you can go on eBay and get some cheap knockoff stuff, but it still ends up being, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks for a, a set of rubbers, which is really not what I'm looking for. Um, so I did a lot of searching around and realized shoe soling rubber is actually relatively close to what I'm looking for. Uh, if I can get this out. As you can see, it's it comes in a sheet. It's about 8 inches uh, tall, I guess, and this is about you know 18 to 24 inches wide so you can get a few paddles out of it uh, and it's even got you know a little edge on it uh, but then it's got some I wouldn't call it pips because it's not perfectly circular or anything but it's got a texture to it like uh, you know just like you would have on your your shoe soles uh, like if you wear van shoes you know on the the vulcanized rubber part um, and it's got kind of a, a fabric backing to it it's a decent thickness probably a little bit thicker than the cheap stuff that comes on the paddles um, but I want to try this to see if it works because you can get in a lot of different colors it's not terribly expensive like I think this sheet was maybe seven or eight bucks a couple bucks of shipping something like that I forget it's been a while since I bought it but uh, so this is gonna be a quick video today but I was just wanted to try this out and see how it compares to these uh, kind of cheap hard bats you get from Walmart uh, and I'm going to make it especially fast because I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to use this paddle that the uh, the rubber flaked all the way off of. Uh, that way it's kind of a good analog to know if this, you can flake the rubber off and you can replace it with this and get kind of a similar playing paddle. Uh, just for fun, just to keep with the, uh, the shoe theme, I'm going to beef up the handles a little bit with uh, some boot laces, make a, maybe a little rope pattern on there. Uh, see what happens, but uh, let's go do that. Should be pretty quick.
So I actually like this a lot more than the uh, like the cheap Walmart paddles. Uh, you know, it's not quite round pips, but the uh, the shape on it and the grip is really good. It's it's very rubbery, uh, you know, but it still has that hard bat feel, so it you know hits hard because a hard bat. But yeah, I really like it. I mean, I think it's it, it's a good replacement option for that. If you want to go that route, you'd always just go to Walmart and buy a new paddle. But you know, sometimes you like yours and you want to put some uh, new rubber on it, so. Uh, decent option. Uh, might have to order some different colors of this in the future for some, some different things, but I really like it. It looks great on there. It cut really nice, which is good. Uh, I suck at ping pong. But anyway, see you next time.